Okay. When? To an abandoned Burger King. It's just like on like the street my school is on. It's just way down the street though. So we literally went there. And that's the food just sitting now. And no. I know this inches from in my house because he wants to go around it in a sketchy area and it was raining and it started pouring again. Yep. 1990s Burger King. It's raining out here, but here's an abandoned Burger King restaurant. I don't, this is in the city of the town. So, and literally pouring rain, but that's really it. And I'm gonna take a photo, so we're gonna get a really good bite. Yeah, I just wanna go and get wet, it's too bad. Oh my god, the light's on inside. Is it? Yeah, the light's on. You might get somebody living in there. No, usually people just leave us right there. You know, place like, yeah, I, know. I could just keep driving. I saw some shaded stuff going on down when I was walking home the other day anyways. Yeah. We have the Forbidden Burger King and then there's the sign. Boom. Hope you enjoyed the video and I wish we could um have more fast food restaurants have those aesthetics again, but no, y'all look like a shoebox. Y'all wouldn't know exactly what so the Popeyes um one. My Popeyes, which is like close on capital, like that one before the 43, that looks like um, the one that they used to look like. I'm gonna go to New Orleans eventually, we'll see at 5k so goodbye peace we'll see you in this another retail video i still never had a mall green's in the band and captain d's restaurant mm, not today we'll see <laughs>